everyone. Welcome to the Art Workshop. My name is Christopher Ampling. Thanks so much for tuning in today. We're so glad you did. We have a very special show in store today because we have a guest today. And we love guests because guest usually means student. And we like to showcase our uh, students here locally and around the region, uh, the talented artists that we have in our schools. And we have one such talented artist today here with me. So I'd like to introduce to everyone at home, Miss Lila Anderson. We'll say hi to everybody. Hi. So thank you for coming on the show today. I appreciate it a whole lot. You're going to teach me how to draw something, right? Yeah. And then I'm going to teach you how to draw something. Yeah. We've already worked it out beforehand, kind of what we're doing, but we kind of wanted to get an idea, though, um, you know, of what we're going to do. But we want everybody to know at home what they can do to follow along with us is all you really need is what? Uh, paper? Yeah. Pencil. Pencil. Pen. Pen. Racer. Racer. And that's it. Yeah. If you want to color it too, you could color it, but we're not going to be coloring today. We're going to be working primarily with drawing, so basic drawing skills today. And I'm going to be showing you in a little bit when we draw uh, our character together um, how to use the circle method. You ever heard the circle method before? I think I have from you. Okay, good. All right, good. So you know it's just combining shapes together to form whatever it is we're going to draw, and then you ink around it to make all the dark lines appear, and then you go back and erase all the pencil. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And you're doing basically the same thing with me, right? With what you're going to show me. Yeah. Okay, cool. Before we start, though, did you bring a sketchbook? Yep. Oh, can I see it? Yeah. Is it okay? All right, I'm going to share with everyone. And as we're sharing uh, your sketchbook, uh, so you want to tell everybody where you go to school? I go to Millard. Yeah, do you like it? What grade are you in? A fourth. Fourth grade? Oh, fourth grade. I remember fourth grade. And I remember this drawing, too. This is actually one that I did for you at church, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, hold on a second. We do go to church together, too, by the way. That's something mm -hmm. that... So we know each other outside the studio, and, and uh, I know your family, and we're all good friends. And so I knew you're super talented, and you like to draw, and that's why I asked you to come on. This is a really cool cow. Um, I like cows. You like cows a lot? Cows are fun to draw. Now, see, this is a great example. You have a circle, a couple of ovals. These you can kind of add in later, right? Yeah. Your nose and eyes are basically circles, too. Mm -hmm. And then the mouth is formed by... Some of them oval as well, right? Yeah. Now, what this is more of something that you can do. Uh, anyone could do this. So, literally, I'm not saying it, I'm saying anyone could learn to do this. That's yeah. what we're getting ready to show. So, if you look at this home, you're like, that's super kind of difficult. I couldn't do that. You can if you break it down in simple shapes, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is a little more complicated. So, Stitch is one of the hardest characters to draw because he's so animated. Mm -hmm. You know, his face is always different, his body shape's always moving, right? So why, why Stitch, though? That's my uh, favorite cartoon character. It is? Yep. So Stitch, uh, you're a big Disney fan then? Mm-hmm. Or so have you, have you uh, watched all the Stitch movies that, that, that I, they have? I don't think I have. Yeah? I've just seen uh, one, like, I don't know. I forgot. But you like him as a, just because he's cute and, and blue? I like, I uh, like that he's blue he's and furry. he's cute. He's furry. furry. Yeah. It's so interesting, the character itself, uh, when you try to draw it, it's always different. So there's different um, shapes, like we said, and different poses and things like that. So we may try to draw that today yeah. in reverse, okay? Yeah. Is there any more in here that you, ah, oh, it's a little blue stitch here. Yeah. Uh, I accidentally got green when I was doing the blue. I was trying to get the blue, but then I got green. That's okay. So, so that now this doggy here is really cute. I love dog. Yeah, that's a. Okay. Oh, and you got some of these extra ghosts. some ghosts. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of Pac Man ghosts a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, cool. Ghosts are fun to draw because it's. A, I mean, you've got a basic shape and just make a little bit of a yeah. some uh, shapes at the end for the tail part. This is a cute little squid. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. So, drawing is a, uh, how many, how much do you draw a day? Do you draw every day? I draw sometimes, like, two, uh, two days a week. Yeah? Yeah. That's a cute cow. Mm -hmm. these, it's very hard to do. I mean, Stitch is a hard character to draw. This is really good. And I got Angel. And that is? Uh, the other, girl. it's a girl from Stitch. Oh, it's a girl version of Stitch, yeah. right? Pretty much, okay. But she looks different. And this little bear. A bear with boba. <laughs> boba drink, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, boba. boba. And this is a little dragon? Or no, nope? that's an axolotl. Salamander. Axolotl. That's an axolotl. Yeah. What in the world is an axolotl? Hi. I like axolotls. They actually are real. They're not fake. These are real? Yeah. Okay. Those things are real. Like, are they a type of salamander or something? I they... think they're like a type of lizard or something. Yeah. 
Yeah. Now, is that the same, the axolotl? Yeah. Is it in water? Yeah, it's like okay. a water. It's a water creature. Yeah. Yeah, this is a cute dog. Mm -hmm. See the shape that you made, basically? It's a round, and then I mean, you could do this one line in one, one stroke of your pencil. Yeah. Add a couple ears and a mouth, you know? Mm -hmm. Very cool. I'm glad you brought this in. I hope you keep adding to it. My dog. Dog, Hello, dog. dog. <laughs> looks like a corgi. <laughs> me, it reminds me of a corgi. This is really cool. I'm really glad that you're getting into drawing a whole lot, and you're, uh, oh, this is really small drawing. That's sort of hard to do at that level, like that small. I like small stuff. Yeah, and then a T-Rex, mm -hmm. yeah. You Man. drew a T-Rex for me once. I did? Mm-hmm. Well, I like T-Rexes because they're easy to draw. You got a big shape at the front and a little My body. dad drew that. No way, your dad did that? Yeah. Oh, um, what's your dad's name? John. John, John, good job. This is a really good job, mm -hmm. yeah. And what's your mom's name? Brandy. Brandy, right. And do you have any brothers or sisters? Uh, I have one. And brother. I'm asking all this like I don't know you. You know I know all this, but I'm, oh, you happen to have a brother, really? What's his name? Race. Race. I knew all that, but yeah, I, I think that's you. the last one. Okay. I do not know. Yeah. Well, this is really cool. A really good job. So now, if folks want to maybe draw one of these at home, all they got to do is what? Uh, they just got to practice, have pencil, pen. They have to have an eraser and piece of paper. That's it. All right. So if you've got all that at home and you want to go along with this, here we go. This guy is going to show us how to draw a cow. Cow. All right. Let's do it. I'm okay. ready if you're ready. So first, we're going to draw an oval. Okay. Very cool. An oval. Is that dark enough? It's okay. You can see it. You can do it a little bit harder next time. You want to use this one instead? It's a little uh, bit darker. Is that whatever you want to do? Sure. Okay, we'll try it out. I'm just going to try to sober it. Okay. Make it darker. All right. There you go. Now you can see it. Once we ink it, you can really see it. But yeah, just yeah. one oval. Mm -hmm. Sort of in the center of the page, right? Yep. Okay. Next, we're going to do a, like another little oval inside. Okay, so like right here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next, we're going to put two eyes. Two circles. Mm -hmm. Mine's starting to look like an axolotl. <laughs> Sometimes I like to do this. I'll put like a little circle right there and I'll just color like kind of in. It's inside the eyeball? Yeah, like right here, it looks like that. Oh, so two of them, yeah. So this yeah. is sort of like for what, the eye shine kind of? Yeah, kind of. Because light reflecting in you the eyeball? You know how some, uh, you know how uh, some kids do like the puppy eyes? Yeah, yeah, like the big, um, mm -hmm. okay, that's what that is. Yeah. They call those chibi or chibli, something like that. I don't know. I don't or, know. I don't know either. <laughs> big eyes though, right? Yeah. With color in there. Okay. Yours is huge. Yeah, my, my cows had a lot of caffeine. <laughs> You're, you had caffeine. I did have caffeine. Okay, so we're going to do two little nostrils. Okay, here and here? Yeah. Okay. Color those in. Okay. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Next, we're going to go out and like curve it in. Out, okay. On the left hand side, right? Yeah. Out and curve in? Yeah. That? Sort yeah. of? Okay. Sort of like that. Kind of looks like a dragon, but okay. Yeah. Same thing on the other side? Yep. Kind of looks like a dragon, but okay. Okay, okay, right? That's so cool. That's the cool thing about art is that right now this could become anything, really. Mm -hmm. Almost anything. Yeah. You so know. we're going to go up and then like out. We're going to go up and like out. Okay. Those are the horns. Mm hmm. Okay. And that's it. That's our cow? Mm-hmm. All right. Won't you No, fall? wait. Oh, wait. We have, no, that's not our cow. We're going to put a couple, like, little shapes. Okay. Now, this is for the, I guess, the dots, right? Like yeah. Spot, spots on a cow. And this one comes down around the eyeball like that, huh? Like yeah. this? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, just to kind of get break it up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's starting to look like a cow more. Yeah. Yeah, I'm making some I just realized. Spots, but. Now, okay, that's the head of the cow, right? Yep, that's the only part I always draw. Now, what if we were to, just off the back end back here, 
take a line going out this way like that, okay? Yeah. And a line coming down like this. Mine's a little bit smaller. Yeah. So it might look like a little bit worse. The only thing that I did it for is just kind of get a shape of the body. Yeah. I put a couple more spots, maybe here mm -hmm. and here. Just a couple more. Right there, maybe. I'm taking over now your instruction. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay. Now we get our pins, right? Yep. Okay. We trace over all the lines we want to keep, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're both using these felt tip markers now. You guys um, might not have them, right. but we do. Right. So, sorry. But you can use a pen, though. Mm -hmm. If you have an ink pen, if you have um, even a, a ballpoint pen, even. But the felt tips are good. Now, felt tip markers, though, they can, it takes a bit for them to dry, right? Yeah. So, we're going to have to wait. Right. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Just the lines you want to keep, right? Yeah. Okay. This is my favorite part of drawing, actually, is this part. Tracing this part? Over. Yeah, tracing over it. Because the way I look at it is, while you're still drawing with pencil, you can erase and make changes. But once you lock these lines in with ink, I mean, they're there, right? Yeah, they stay there. So you're really kind of at the point right now where you're almost done with the drawing. You've uh, put all the time in to draw your pencil lines where you want them. And then now you get to actually see it all come together. That's why I like it. Yeah. Nostrils. Ah. I guess we actually color in here, right? Not yeah. You're going very fast. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm kind of speed it's up okay. on point. Like I love this part. Okay. I like felt I like felt tip markers a lot, but have you ever used a quill tip pen before? I do not think so. Okay, you know the ones that have you ever seen these pictures of like um ah, Thanksgiving? Ink on me. Uh oh, sure did. Uh -oh. It's okay. Yeah. We'll get something to wipe it off. We'll take a second and a minute and yeah. clean, get cleaned up. But these quill tip pens. They are, um, you know, they look like a feather. Yeah. And uh, you dip them in ink, right? Yeah. Well, they make those in metal, though. Yeah. I really like those a lot. I'm not going to take the time to color all these spots in. I'm just trying to, like... Except for, you're trying to not get ink all over your hand right now? <laughs> I'm not trying to, like... Ah, it's no. getting all the pen. There we go. Yeah, it's really coming. Why don't we... Yeah. Uh, here, why don't you give you this one? Yeah. Let me take that one. This that one's, one's exploded on your hand. Yeah. Right? There you go. Ah. Yeah, these pins are really finicky like that. Sometimes yeah. they'll just, the tops will pop. And... I don't think I have any more. Okay, so what yeah, I'm, no. well, I'm going to do this though. Instead of coloring all these lines, all these spots in, I'm just going to make like some lines like this in each one of them. Okay. Parallel lines going all in the same direction, okay? Yeah. See that? Yeah. Now, this keeps us from not having to worry about coloring it in. Yeah. It still looks dark. Mm hmm But it's not really cheating, but it's just saving yourself some time, you know? Yeah. But if you want to color it like in, that. if you want to color it in, that's fine, too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I like that cow a lot. Mm -hmm. really cute. Uh-oh. Forgot to run the whole side of the face here. Oh, yeah. The whole big spot there. Alrighty, hold on one second here. Yeah, get to this point where we got it all shaded in. Getting around the eyeball. It's a tricky part sometimes. There. I like, I like doing that. It's you, like you like the shading part like that. Yeah. Yeah, and this is cool. Now, 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 cross hatching would mean. Okay, let me just show you this for a second. Okay, so you got this. Yeah. So, you, so that's a shape, sort of like one of these shapes, right? Yeah. And then what we did is we went in like this, right? Yeah. Now cross hatching. See how these lines are parallel. You know what parallel means, right? They yeah. Two lines running. They never cross, right? Yeah. So you take the lines going in the opposite direction, almost like you're making a checkered board pattern. Mm -hmm. And this is called cross hatching. And it's a fun way to ink because it fills that whole spot. Now look, you can look up on the screen even there. See how dark that looks now? Yeah. So one, one go at it going in one direction does well. But if you go over it again like that, you can really make it look dark. Yeah. You know? I didn't fill all the corners. Mine looks that. very small. Well, no, it looks really good. Now I always sign your name, right? Yeah. I like just doing cursive. Like, oh, cursive? Do you know how to write in cursive? Yeah. Is it true that you all don't learn in school now how to write in cursive? Or, or do you learn cursive in school? We learn. I don't think we've... No, yeah, we do. We you have, do? like, in language arts, we have a cursive practice. Good. I'm so class. glad to hear that. Because I was told 
some schools aren't doing it. And, and it really bummed me out because cursive is important, you know? Yeah. So we have this happy cow. I think you did a great job. It takes um, me long for me to do cursive. It's okay. Very cool. Very nice. Huh? Very good job. Well, now you want to kind of switch gears a little bit and let me show you how to draw something? Yeah. Okay. So we'll take just a short little break and get some extra paper out. Get your hand cleaned up a little bit and then we can start back. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right, everyone. I think we're ready to go for the second exercise. Are you excited about this one? Yeah. This is your favorite character, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to try our best to get Stitch knocked out. And if you've ever had um, a notion to try to draw this character, this is probably the best pose because the mouth isn't open. The ears aren't going too crazy, mm -hmm. right? The mouth is one of the hardest things. He has a lot of teeth, individual teeth. Yeah. But we're going to try to do this step by step. So please just feel free to follow along. And if you do follow along, remember, you can send it to us so we can share it here on the show. We'd love to see what you did at home. You can always send that to PikeTV99 at gmail.com. Send that in to us and we will uh, share your work, what you did, follow along with me and Miss Lila, right? Yep. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to get my pencil. You get your pencil. Now the first shape we want to do, this is a really important shape because this is forming the head, okay? We're going to sketch out what I, it, it, it's not an oval. It's more of a egg shape, right? Yeah, like a tilted one. Right. So I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of get the back part here first, and then come out here like this, and then back in. You see what I mean? Oh my goodness, that looks bad. No, no, no. Just I tell you what, up here though, bring that up a little bit higher. You're good. You're good. There we go. Just At least I can erase that part right there. Yeah. Erase that part right yeah, there. Just, just that, that, line that line right there. Yeah. That's good. You're on the right track. Getting that shape down is hard. Now remember, at home, this is where you're pressing down very lightly with your pencil. You're almost sketching. Well, you yeah. are sketching. So what we're doing here is not the final line. This is us just getting that, what I like to call my blueprint. You yeah. know what I mean? Now, the body is going to come down from right here and kind of setting. He's setting on his rear, so he's going to be like this. So the body comes down and back up. These are the only two shapes you need to make this character, believe it or not. Now the head is about the same size as the whole body, really, right? Yeah. Now you got those two shapes done. We're in good shape now. Here's what we need to do. Let's go back up here to the head, okay? Um, what I want to do is I want to start first out here towards the end. Let's go ahead and form his nose kind of out here on the end, right here. Okay. Just a little sketch. We'll go back and kind of right correct it. Yep. And then once you come in on the head just a little bit right here, now, this is a hard shape. This is his eye. His eye is almond shaped. Yeah. So let's try to make this kind of shape like an almond, okay? Show you how to do it. Go like this. See how that looks kind of like an almond? Yeah. So the shape is more like a football. Maybe we should say football. Yeah. Football. Now, now. Because some people might not know what an almond is. Exactly. Okay. Now, we have a little bit of eye shine right here. That little dot in his eye, right? Yeah. Now we're gonna go back over this in a little bit and we're gonna straighten it up a little bit more, even more than this, okay? Uh -huh. But what I like to do is go ahead and just kind of let myself see what's dark. And so I'll just real lightly sketch some, a little bit of color in there, put a little charcoal in there where the eye is. We can okay? erase that later. Yeah, we'll fix it all up. Yeah. Okay, now the head, when it comes off of the nose up here, right? Mm -hmm. Comes up, just like we have it, but he's got a little fruff of hair right here, right on the back part of his head. Right there. So it's just a few lines that go like this. One, two, three. On the top of the head. Right? Yeah, like that? Yeah, just like that. Okay. okay, now, we're going to draw this shape here. Now, he's got a color around the eye is a different color, right? Yeah. So very lightly sketch in this kind of a shape that goes around the eyeball, just like that. See? Okay. Yeah, yeah that's it. Okay. Now you've got this shape around, that looks good. Now we're going to shape this up a little bit more in a second, okay? Yeah. So let's jump down now to the body, okay? Mm -hmm. Now he's setting on his rear, okay? So that means his back comes down. Now follow the shape you just made and you're going to bring this around a little bit darker this time, like that, okay? Mm -hmm. There you go. Now at the bottom, down here on the bottom, yeah. it comes in. Almost like flat because he's sitting on his, you know, his, on his rear. So it comes down, it's flattened, 
This line that you just darkened in mm -hmm. leads us directly into the leg. So the leg shape comes off of here. Now here's what I want you to do for the leg. Down here, right about there, I want you to draw this, an oval, okay? Back. Just like that. Now, this forms the leg. So now you can draw the leg kind of coming back up in the body like that a little bit. This is the actual foot. That's the leg. These two lines form the leg, right? Yeah. Now, he's got little toes. We can add in there a little bit better when we ink it. But there are three or four little, little kind of bumps that come off of the foot, right? Then you got the pad of his foot here, right? Yeah. Okay. Looking good. Okay, now, all this right here, this mess, right? Yeah. We got to straighten it up because that looks nothing like the front of Stitch yet, yeah. right? So what we need to do is come up underneath the eye. So wherever your eye is, come down. This needs to be kind of close together, okay? This is not real thick. So bring this line that comes just down from the, from the head like that into the body. See how kind of close together mine is? Yeah. There you go, that, that line. Yep. Okay, this leads us directly into his arm. Now his arm is formed by shape that looks like pretty much like a giant oval. Let me show you what I mean. It's behind the foot a little bit. See that big oval I just made behind there? Yeah. It's a big oval right mm -hmm. here. Kind of same way you put it. Yeah, so it's like it goes behind the leg. And we're going to do some erasing in a little bit, so don't worry. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Now down at the bottom, he's got some toes here, right? Mm -hmm. So what's what I'm doing? One line two lines, three lines. Just three lines first coming out. And once you have the three lines drawn like that, now watch, bring it back in, back in, and back in. See that? Mm -hmm. And that helps form the toes. Ah. Okay. Now Stitch's arm is interesting because, and I'm gonna draw this so you just kind of watch me for a second, Lila, okay? Mm -hmm. So his arm is made up of this shape we just did. It looks like a giant oval, plus at the bottom he has a foot, right? Mm -hmm. The interesting thing about Stitch, though, is this actually comes up back in and his shoulder is above it. So it's almost like this part of the arm is thicker than, than you know, his forearm yeah. is much thicker than, than his shoulder, right? Yeah. So up here at the top, right up here at the top, you want to draw his shoulder kind of coming up like this, okay? Going down into the arm. See what I mean? Like yeah. So Yeah, that's it. Yep. So it just comes up and then into the arm, right? Yeah. The arms here, forming the arm like that. Okay, now, right here, this line that you made, mm -hmm. let's bring yours in just a little bit more. Maybe like that. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, this line, though, we're going to add a little bit of fur on it. Just like you did up here with yeah. the hair, this fruff. We're going to put a little bit right here. One, two, three. Just a little bit of hair, kind of, right there. Okay? Now, we have this arm, mm -hmm. we have the leg, mm -hmm. we have the head, we have the eye and nose, okay? Mm -hmm. This would be fine to stop here. We want to add one more little shape in here, okay? Kay. We can see a little bit of his other arm behind him. So right here. So you see how this one? So draw this one kind of just behind him a little bit. Hi. Real close to that one. Real close to this line. Draw another one just like it. Yep, this one, right? Is that what you just drew? Yeah. Good. That's perfect. And then you can see some toes here too. One, two, couple toes there. Yeah. Perfect. And then a little bit of this foot, well, this shape, I mean, of this foot, you can see right here on this back side and some toes. One, two, three. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm going to put the little padding in his foot here. Okay. Now, one of the most important things that Stitch has, feature-wise, is what? Uh, his big ears. Ears, right. These are super hard because mm -hmm. there's a fold in them. You know, like where this part comes down, mm -hmm. there's that fold. So what I like to do is the first thing I want to do is establish just the general shape, as always, of the ear. Now, the ear comes in on the head pretty far. Now, this part of the head here is rounded out, okay? Mm -hmm. So we really don't need this right here to be so pointy. Yeah. So it kind of comes more down like that, right? Yeah. I'm going to take my eraser. I'm going to get rid of this back line of this oval real fast. Yeah. Because I'm going to be actually drawing, so I'm going to put this back with me. There we go. Now, we're actually being drawing in this space here to fill in that ear. And we'll do a little more erasing down here too, okay? Yeah. Not right this second. Now, when you're working on this ear shape, 
Um, we're going to be adding, like I said, things to it. So what I want to do is start down here, right behind. See how this shape comes in you drew around that's going to form that different color yeah. around the eye? You're just going to come back a little bit right behind it here, pretty close to it. You're going to draw a shape that comes out, up, back in. See what I did? Yeah. So like right here? See where you got? Uh, yep, right about, starting about right about there, yep. Uh. Now look, going out, up, around, and back in. Now if you need to resize it, you can. Got That's it. a good shape. It's a good nice shape. Yes, absolutely. Now, we have the shape of the ear now, right? Mm -hmm. Now we can darken money in a little bit. So I like where yeah. it's at, so we're good. Okay. Now, this is one of the more important things. You're going to come up on the side of the ear. When this line comes down, you're going to form this shape. It goes down the inside the ear like that. Yeah, the fold. Right, the fold, and back up. See that now? Yeah. What? what? See, I <laughs> know it's confusing. Like, after yeah. I draw it and look at it, I'm like, wait a second, what do I do? Watch, see, I started up here kind of where this curve comes down. Yeah. And I draw a line going down. And then you go To out. a point. That's it. That's that? it. That's it. Right there. Okay. There you go. Now he has two ears, right? Yeah. So the other ear is behind his head. Yeah, so you can barely see it. Yeah, but we can see this shape. Yeah. Comes up and back in. Okay. Up and back in. Right. Now I think everything's good on both of ours except for we need to work a little bit on the nose area. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to take my eraser. Mine has a curve. Yeah, like, we'll fix it. That. You're talking about right here? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get rid of your curve, okay? Yeah. And I'm going to get rid of my curve, too. Alrighty. See, this, a, lot of, a lot of this is erasing and going back and re-kind re, re of configuring. Once you get the basic shapes, you're good to go, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm going to erase a little bit more here. I'm not going to do all my erasing right now, but I'm going to do a little bit. A little bit of here. Get rid of this line here that I used originally for my oval. Right here. And a little bit here. Now, all I did is went in and just kind of shaped it up more, okay? Mm -hmm. And we're going to do the same for yours. Is that okay? Yeah. So get rid of that. You know what to get rid of. Yeah. Get rid of that line, making that oval up and everything. So that leaves us with pretty much just the nose, okay? Yeah. And once we do that, now we're going to ink it, of course, and then... Make sure Got to be fast. Very good. Okay. So yours is coming together good. Now, the nose, how we could fix it is bring it down right. and just kind of don't make it so pointy, you know. You want it more of like a snub nose kind of. That? Yes, like that. Now, the shape here that still makes his nose is here that we had earlier, right? Yeah. But let's go ahead and add that there. But what we're going to do right above the nose, put a couple of little lines here. Yeah. Okay. Like two little lines. And then he has a little shape at the corner of his eye, making up almost like a, a fold of his eyebrow a little bit there. See that? Yeah. Let's darken it a little bit more. Right. Now, let's see. We're going to ink this thing now. That's the fun part for me. Good job. Okay. Now, when you're inking, you mm -hmm. just want to trace the lines you want to keep, right? Yeah. All right. Use the small end of that. I, I would use that one because the other one's real thick. Yeah. I'm going to use this one. So we're going to start to ink, okay? Yeah. The other one got on me. Yeah. The other one, the other one was, it was like, I'm done. I've, my time is up. I've, mm. I've inked all I can ink. And I want to explode. <laughs> yeah. It did, too. A little bit. I mean, it could have been worse, though. It really could have because there was a lot of ink still left in there. So now, see, what I'm doing, I'm just... Every line that I want to keep, right? Mm -hmm. The ear, keep that line. If we had some watercolor with this, it would be really nice to add a little bit of color, but, yeah. but you know, you can always do that later, right? Mm -hmm. As long as you're after you're drawing, not right. during. Right. Well, if you do want to do it during, you can. can. Again. Now, there's one area here that I want to be careful about. Let me show you what I mean. So, when you're inking this line around the eye, right? Mm -hmm. That line really isn't a solid line with stitch. It's just a different color. 
So I don't want to make like a, you know, tracing a big circle around his head. So what I'll do is I'll draw some like little hash marks like this. See what I'm doing? Yeah. To make it kind of look more like fur instead of yeah. actually a line. Okay, I can't get that. <laughs> you can do it. Start here. Yeah. You just go, and you follow the line that you have, like you're tracing your line, but you're just doing hash marks instead of a full line. See what I'm doing there? Yeah. Yeah you, got, of, yeah, you got it. I'm kind of going like closer it's okay. from the line. Yeah, it's okay. Now you can either finish that out or wait till after you trace the eye to see kind of more where you want to be, but it's up to you. I'm going to go ahead though into when this. Now this okay. needs to be nice and solid, but that's it. This needs to be nice and solid black. This is probably going to be the area that's going to take the longest to dry, obviously, but having. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Having this, though, solid black is important. Yeah. It's one of the most distinguishable features. You know what's something cool about Stitch that I know about the actual first movie that came out? What? So you know all the back, if those have seen it too, and I'm sure you, you know what I'm talking about, the, the backgrounds in the movie, so like the houses and yeah. it's, it's set in Hawaii, right? Yeah. The backgrounds, all the backgrounds are actual watercolor paintings. Wait, what? It's not digital. It's all watercolor. So Not someone, good. yeah, someone actually sat down with a giant piece of watercolor and drew out and painted all those background scenes. I think That's that movie. so cool. And it is cool. I think that movie actually won some big awards when it first came out because of that. I love Lilo and Stitch, and I also have a Squishmallow. Do yep. you know what a Squishmallow is? You know it's big like a pillow, kind of. Do know what Squishmallows is. My daughter likes Squishmallows. So, so let me ask you a question. Is it of Stitch? Yeah. Oh, cool. It has, it was a Valentine's Day thing. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So let, let me ask you this. Do you uh, like any, um, do you read any like graphic novels or, you know, like comic books or? I read some comic books sometimes. Do you? Yeah. Is your brother into comics much? Uh, no. Not really. He's mostly into video games. Video games. You know, video games require art too. Yeah. It has to be artists to work on those. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something. I know you're still like, what, fourth grade, right? Yeah. So let me ask you a question, though. Do you have any idea in the slightest what you'd like to do one day as a job job? Uh, maybe work my parents' shop. Well, that would be cool. Well, what do you, what do you, well, your parents work at a shop here locally? Uh, what? Well, what do they, what do your parents do? You want to share what they do? They, uh, make teas, shakes, uh, hot coffees. Oh, well, that's cool. They got... A lot of stuff. That's cool. What about art? Would you ever want to do that? Maybe sometime, someday become an artist, maybe. Look at the tail. We forgot his tail. Oh, yeah. I added it just on the back okay. of everyone. Okay. Right? <laughs> okay, so down here, just make a shape come out and then back in. Like that? Like that. That works. Yeah. Now, Stitch is a hard, hard character to draw. It's mm -hmm. not easy. And a lot of students, they will... They'll start it and they'll see it. if it's not looking exactly like the way they want it to look, they'll give up, you know? Yeah. I mean, don't give up, right? Don't give up. Just don't. Yeah, because it's, you eventually get there. Yeah. Just, anything, it just like takes I practice. Did. Exactly. It just takes practice, right? Yeah. Yeah, these little, little, little tiny pads on the bottom of the feet there, mm -hmm. yeah, those are um, just a different color, too. So they're not really a shape, you know, but. We're working with pins, so we have to add it in somehow. When I'm drawing, I like to like flip the, I like to flip the paper like sideways. To the side. Yeah. Yeah. To the yeah. side. One of the hardest things that I've, I was so this show, you know, I have, I want to do that too. I do that too normally. So training myself to not do that has been like really. You know, what? you can do it. You can do it. I can. You're fine. <laughs> you you can finish yours out. While you're finishing yours out, actually, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about cross hatching. Okay. Yeah. So since we don't have color here, oh, you know what I forgot too? What? On his ear, he's got that little cut. Oh yeah. That's okay. That's okay. It's, it's okay. already done now. Uh, but cross hatching, you can go in here where there should be shadow, right? Yeah. Because the ear folds over. So I'm just going to draw a few lines inside here while you're finishing Wait, up, okay? What's that? Uh, what's that elephant kind of thing? Dumbo. No, not uh, yeah. no. It's not Dumbo. I think it. I don't know. Uh, what is it, character? I th yeah, it's a, like a Disney or... I think it might be in the Winnie the Pooh. Oh, you're talking about the... Oh, Eeyore? I think, yeah. It, oh, dear. This, kinda, this one... 
<laughs> Mine looks like Eeyore. No, it does. Yes, it does. It doesn't look like Eeyore. It looks like Stitch. You, you, you've Mine gotten, looks like look, Eeyore. You've gotten, you, you, you're getting a good start on it. This is hard drawing. It looks good. And you know what? Artists are their own worst critics. You know that? Mm. Really. Trust me. Everything I draw, I look at it. I'm like, well, that was bad, but okay. You know? Oh, and also in Stitch, he has like little, small little nostrils. He does have small nostrils. Well, we got to add those sort of in here, like yeah. right here, maybe. maybe. A little bit there. There we go. So all I'm doing is just putting a little bit of cross hatching just to kind of accentuate where a few things. He also has spots, right? He's got spots on his yeah. back. He's got random spots. Sort of like the cow, right? Mm-hmm. Aha, uh -huh. there's a continuity there. There's a theme to it. There's yes. spots today on our characters. There I we go. I love yeah. Sitch so much. He's a cute character, I have to say. Very cute. Yeah. Okay. My daughter, whenever she watches it, she wants to act like Stitch. And sometimes it's a little problematic, though, because Stitch is a little bit wild and crazy. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I can make the voice. Can you do the voice? Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I can say anything. Say um, something like... Uh, Berries and cream? Berries and cream? Yeah. Does he say that? No. <laughs> okay, you just... Oh, he says I didn't. I wouldn't stuff. know. I wouldn't know. He says random stuff. Why don't you say um, something like... Um, um, berries and cream. Berries and cream. Hey, that sounded pretty good. That sounded pretty <laughs> good, I have to say. That was actually pretty good. That was pretty good. I, have to, uh, I didn't know you could do that. Hmm. See? I was going to show you at church. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe you did actually do that at church, actually. Did I think I? you did. Yeah, I think you actually did. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I but did. I didn't know you were doing Stitch. See, you, I thought you were just doing silly voices, but now I connect the two together and I get it totally what it is. Yeah. Okay. After you get done with your inking, that looks good, Lila. That's a very good stitch. <laughs> if you want to cross hatch some, you can. I will. Later on, you know. Yeah. But let me ask you something. Did you enjoy being on the show? I am like, I love it here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. You want to stay here and do some more shows? Yeah. We'll do a whole series. You want to do a whole series together? Sure. Okay. Are, do your classmates know you're here today? Uh, I think maybe. Yeah? You going to tell everybody about it when you go to school? Yeah. Okay. And when the show airs, you going to tell everybody about it too? Yeah. And we encourage everybody to please share this. You know, this is something that, so, so, so Pike TV, the art workshop is all, of course, locally produced, right? And the more you share it and get the word out, it, 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 it's not, it, it helps foster art in our community. And especially with the programming we're doing where we highlight students. I cannot think of a more... Um, Enjoyable ph thing? Philamp... What's that big word? Philanthropist? I don't can't think of a better thing to do, put it that way, than to promote student work, and no matter what that is. So please share the show with everybody that you know, please. It, it, it would help, right? Yeah. Yeah. Lila, you would like for them to, right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Can I give a couple of shout-outs? Shout-outs, absolutely. We'll do shout-outs real fast. Okay. Right there. I give a shout-out to my mom, my dad, my grand, which she's my memo, mm -hmm. but I call her grand, uh, and my friend, Elise. Elise. Hi, Elise. Her favorite thing is cow. Cow? Mm -hmm. So now you've got your favorite thing and your friend's favorite thing today. Mm -hmm. You did. That was pretty cool. Did you plan that? Uh, no. Well, that was pretty. See, things just worked out. I just out. randomly wanted a cow, and well, then I remembered. Things just work out that way, right? Mm-hmm. So um, I hope that you've enjoyed the show, which I think you have, and you love to come back sometime and draw some more with us, okay? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for being on the show. You want to tell everybody goodbye? Bye. Bye. On behalf of Pike TV and the Art Workshop and Miss Lila here, I'm Chris Epling. Until next time, keep drawing. <laughs>